V-Bucks! We all need them in the game, but what's the best way to get them and is there a way to get them for free without getting banned? Well, let's find out in this video! Welcome back to the channel! I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and in this video I'm going to show you the best ways to get V-Bucks for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the PC, the Nintendo Switch and the mobile devices in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now real quick, I'm providing my subscribers with free V-Bucks. I'm giving away a bunch of V-Bucks to my subscribers and you guys have a chance to win. To enter the giveaway, make sure to subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below telling me what console you play on. Anyways, the link to the giveaway will be down below in the description, so make sure to check that out. Now if you are going to enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like down below and let's do another like on this video. You guys have been smashing these like goals every single time lately. Can we get 10,000 likes on this video? If we can reach that like goal, it would make my day and I hope this video does make your day. Now also, subscribe for more videos like these and by the way, I will be replying to each and every single comment down below in the comment section. And if you have turned on your notifications, be sure to comment hashtag notification squad and I will give your comment a heart. And if you don't believe me, try it out yourself and your comment will get a heart. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. Fortnite is a free game to play, however, the things we all want in Fortnite do cost us money. Currently, there are hundreds if not thousands of in-game items that we all want in our locker. But the amount of V-Bucks, which is the in-game currency that you'll need for this, is just ridiculous. And most of us are probably not even allowed to purchase V-Bucks in the first place. Now, did you know that V-Bucks stands for Vendor Tag Bucks or Vendor Bucks and that Vendor Tag is a technology company in Fortnite Save the World? Well, Vendor Tag was named after its founder, Dr. Vinderman. Anyways, we currently have 4 V-Bucks deals in the Fortnite store. We have the 1000 V-Bucks pack, we have the 2500 plus 300 bonus pack, we have the 6000 plus 1500 bonus pack, and the 10000 plus 3500 bonus pack. And the prices of all these packs can range from anywhere between 10 bucks all the way up to 100 bucks. Because these V-Bucks are extremely expensive, a ton of players, including myself, are looking for other ways to get V-Bucks. So, I did my research and found a couple of ways in order for you to get free V-Bucks. The first method is self-explanatory, but still, a lot of people do not know about this. It's actually the V-Bucks which you can get from the Battle Pass. Each and every single season, we receive a Battle Pass. It has been like that since Season 2. Now, next to the skins, back blinks, gliders, harvesting tools and emotes, the Battle Pass also does give us V-Bucks. If you have the Battle Pass, you can earn a total of 1500 V-Bucks when reaching tier 100. And as you can see from the gameplay, you can earn 100 V-Bucks throughout the entire Battle Pass. If we add them all up, it comes down to 1500 V-Bucks. So that means you can basically earn the V-Bucks back that you spent on the Battle Pass, plus even more. So technically, you do get free V-Bucks from the Battle Pass. Just do this each and every single season and you'll see your total amount of V-Bucks go up. Moving on to maybe one of the best ways to get V-Bucks, we have Fortnite Save the World. Fortnite Save the World was released years before Battle Royale, but since the release of Battle Royale, it got its name Save the World. As of now, you can only get Fortnite Save the World if you decide to buy it. The cheapest you can get it for is $19.99. Pretty much when there is a discount of 50%, which Epic Games does a lot by the way. Anyways, good news, Fortnite Save the World is becoming free to play somewhere this year in 2019. But for those who cannot wait and have some money left in their bank account, this is your opportunity. Now huge shout out to Nickster for allowing me to use his gameplay. Feel free to check him out down below in the description and subscribe to his channel. Anyways, let's start with all the ways to get V-Bucks from Save the World, because there are a bunch. Okay, the first method is by completing quests. These quests or missions are pretty much in-game objectives or challenges. And once you complete them, you get rewarded with V-Bucks. There are several different quests which you can complete. First of all, we have the daily quests. Every day, there are three new daily quests to complete, and most of them will give you 50 V-Bucks. Now that means you can get about 150 V-Bucks each day, just by completing these daily quests. And these daily quests aren't even that difficult at all. Moving on, we have the challenges. 
but as you can see, not all challenges will give you V-Bucks, but a couple of them will, and they can range from anywhere between 30 up to 50 V-Bucks as well. Then we have side quests and main quests, and these can give you 100 V-Bucks each, which is a lot. Another way to earn V-Bucks is by completing timed missions. Anyways, just by playing the game, you can earn a lot of V-Bucks here. From there, another way to get V-Bucks in Fortnite Save the World is by doing your collection book. In the collection book, you can consume heroes, survivors and defenders to put into your collection. You can also recruit some items from the book to obtain it. Each item can be put in once, and it grants your collection book some experience based on the rarity and the level of the item. There are rewards up to level 500, so pretty much just put unneeded things in your collection book and it will level up. Now at level 6, level 26 and level 91, you will get 500 V-Bucks. So that's a total of 1500 V-Bucks. Then the most easiest way to get V-Bucks is just by logging in to save the world each and every single day. Because each time you do log in to Fortnite Save the World, you're going to receive a free reward and sometimes it could be V-Bucks. Here on screen is a list of every data login reward that grants V-Bucks. If you would log in to save the world for 336 days, you can get over 10,000 V-Bucks. And after day 336, the cycle starts again from day 1. So that means you can get about 10,000 V-Bucks for free each and every single year, just by logging in to Fortnite Save the World. Now, if you want a more in-depth video about all the ways to get V-Bucks from Save the World only, then please let me know down below in the comment section and definitely drop a like on this video. Okay, so let's move on to the question, are there ways to get free V-Bucks in Fortnite? Well, the answer to this question is yes. Let me explain. Around a couple of months ago, players tried to log in onto their account again after being banned, when all of a sudden they were able to log in again. It turned out that thousands of players had been falsely banned. And because of this mistake on Epic Games' behalf, they decided to give each and every single banned player that got unbanned that day 2,000 free V-Bucks. When they logged in, they got the following message. It said, we incorrectly banned your account. We're sorry and we'll be granting V-Bucks to your account to compensate for the error. And then 2,000 V-Bucks got added to their account. But this is pretty crazy, as 2,000 V-Bucks is worth like $20, and considering this happened to thousands of players, we're talking about a lot of money here. Of course, it was Epic Games' fault that there were innocent players banned, and so they should apologize, and I think they're doing that the right way here. However, with this event happening, there are a few negative impacts. First of all, not only innocent players were banned, even players that did cheat and should be banned got their accounts back with V-Bucks. And secondly, people now might think that the way you get wrongfully banned, you will get rewarded with free V-Bucks. So, what people are now going to do is mass reporting someone just to get him falsely banned so he or she can get free V-Bucks. And then, they will do this for each other. Now, let me know down below in the comment section right now if you ever got banned in Fortnite. And if so, let me know if you got unbanned and if you did receive some free V-Bucks. The second time players got free V-Bucks happened only recently. Epic Games was promoting this Xbox and Fortnite Ian bundle which said full game on the box. So players thought it would include an Xbox, the Ian skin, Battle Royale, as well as Save the World. But it turned out that Fortnite Save the World was not included. Now, why would it say full game when Battle Royale is completely free? So, this was decided as false advertising, and Epic Games stepped up and said the following. Pretty much, everyone who purchased the bundle and got the Eon skin will also get Fortnite Save the World for free. And if they already had Fortnite Save the World, they would get 2,000 free V-Bucks. Then, last of all, players received 5,000 free V-Bucks because they purchased Fortnite Save the World at full price instead of the intended 50% sale price. Now, instead of players receiving free V-Bucks, Epic Games had also decided to remove a V-Bucks from accounts. This is called the negative V-Bucks glitch. Players lost thousands of V-Bucks and some even stay in debt to Epic Games. Some even are in debt up to 60,000 V-Bucks. Now, there are some different opinions about this. People say it's just a glitch and it should get resolved very soon. But then, on the other hand, people say it's because these people who now have negative V-Bucks decided to charge back the V-Bucks that they have bought with their credit card. And they now pretty much have to buy more V-Bucks to get it back to positive. Or it has something to do with the V-Bucks glitch that was found recently by the orange guy. Big credit to him because he's one of the biggest glitchers out there in the community. He went ahead and downloaded Fortnite next to a couple of other apps on his phone and changed his location to somewhere else. Then he was able to buy V-Bucks for half the price. He could buy 10,000 V-Bucks for just 20 bucks. 
which technically are free V-Bucks. So it could have something to do with that. Now of course, always watch out in this community as we have a bunch of scammers and hackers who will do anything just to steal your account, get your personal information or send viruses to you. So watch out and do not trust any of these free V-Bucks scam websites. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. But with all that being said, always remember, this was Shuffle Gamer, and I am signing out.